Well, if you're going to live out of your car, one thing you should not do is store food in your car. Don't keep food in your car because you're going to get bugs, especially in the summer. And specifically, I'm talking about like cereal boxes that have been opened, uh, potato chip bags that have been opened. And even if you like seal them with a, a rubber band or you like uh, wrap them back up, any type of open container uh, that has food that bugs can get to, they will get to in the summer, um, especially and definitely the warmer states, you know, that have high humidity and bugs all year round, like Florida. I had a problem last year in Florida uh, with bugs getting in my car and it was a disaster, but it was my own fault because I was keeping food in my car and I learned my lesson the hard way. And especially if you go to campgrounds, okay, where there's, uh, you know, a lot of trees and you're in a little bit of the wilderness, uh, there's more bugs. And so you, you just, you can't do it. Uh, I don't, I, for a period of my uh, journey, I wasn't even, I stopped eating food in my car even for that reason. But with the coronavirus, uh, I have, uh, you know, been eating in my car, um, very mindful not to leave any open containers in my car and throw everything out when I'm, when I'm done. But, you know, I mean, I do enjoy eating in my car and now with a lot of restaurants closed for the nomads out there, people living full time on the road, there's not many options. You, you know, certainly you can do a picnic outside, but the bottom line is, you know, when it comes to storing food, when it comes to storing food in your car, don't do it. And if you are going to do it, like canned goods, something that is sealed up that has not been opened because it's just not worth trying to save a couple pennies and keeping open container food in your car because you're going to get bugs, you know. I mean, look, you know, even in houses, they have pest control, nice houses, beautiful, clean houses. They have pest control come to keep the bugs away. And so as a nomad at campgrounds or just riding around and specifically in the summer, uh, definitely when it gets warmer, the bugs come out. And they're just looking for food. They're looking somewhere to crawl into. So it'll make an unpleasant experience, okay? It's very hard to get them out once they've made an infestation. So, and you probably wouldn't even be wrong to uh, periodically open all the doors in your car and get some type of raid bug spray or something and spray a little uh, at, the bottom, at the bottom seams of your car door uh, so that, like, kind of just keep maybe... Uh, a level of repellent uh, to the bugs to, to not enter. But, you know, that's what one thing I definitely want to share with you that you may not think of. Uh, it's not like one of like the top three things to do when living out of your car. Uh, and food cost on the road can be high. So many people do try to save by storing food in their car. Uh, but it's not worth saving some money and getting bugs and if you are going to store food in your car, you have to really, like I guess, say, go to the canned goods or something that's a vacuum sealed. Um, periodically clean your car. But in hot weather, especially in the humid states, especially at campgrounds, it's a disaster. Not worth the infestation. So hopefully this helped because it's a real thing that I struggled with last year. Uh, and I would say that was the only year I really struggled with. Three years I've been living in my car. Last year, at the height of the summer in Florida, that's when I struggled with bugs. Now, maybe it's because it's Florida where there's a lot of bugs because it's hot all year round. It was the height of summer. I was in a lot of campgrounds. But, like I say, I made the mistake. I had opened food. I had, like, uh, cereal boxes that were opened, and, like, I closed them. But once the seal is broken, bugs can get in, and I had some potato chips that were open, and, and so... You know, it's a tip uh, because it's it's a scary, nasty thing uh, once you get ants or something in your car, uh, cockroaches, etc. It's a total disaster. So it's not a glorious thing. It's nasty to talk about. It's nasty to think about. But it's a real thing that I'm sharing with you, real information, simple information. Life is pretty simple. You know, we try to make life this grand thing. And uh, sometimes I try to think about what video topic I want to talk about. But a lot of it, a lot of times I have to tell myself, Sam... Keep it simple. Talk about what little things we can do to improve our life. 
And if you're living in your car, a little thing you can do to improve your life is don't store open container food in your car. Try not to store any food in your car. If you're going to eat in your car, clean your car immediately after. Be mindful of where you park and like I say, maybe periodically spray a little bit of raid or bug repellent on the seams of your car door. And if you're mindful of that, I think you'll have a better experience living full time on the road. So if you appreciate this video, I appreciate if you click the thumbs up. Uh, consider hitting that blue join button if you'd like to be part of our Sunday members only chat. You'll get a custom badge and custom emoji. Uh, check out my uh, playlist on the Nomad Simple Life and a variety of other topics. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Make it the best you can. Do the best you can. When in doubt, keep it simple. I may, I may use that going forward. Just That will be like my closing thing if I can remember it. When in doubt, keep it simple. All right. God bless.